Hey everyone, uh, we're going to be looking at Buffalo Nichols and uh, specifically for the Back to Basics series, uh, we are going to differentiate what a Type 1 and a Type 2 Buffalo Nickel is. Uh, Buffalo Nickels were produced from 1913 all the way up to 1938. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a 1913 as designated by the date on the obverse of the coin. Uh, these are pretty, um, pretty common in, in the higher grades. As you can see, this one has a nice satiny luster to it. Uh, this is a 13D, uh, so it's a little bit tougher in, in terms of mintage compared to the 1913, which is a lot more plentiful. Uh, 1913s, uh, come in both type 1 and type 2. So, the, the type 1 designation is a one-year type. For 1913 and uh, you'll see why uh, the 1913 nicer strikes um, do exist um, actually a lot of them um, exhibit pretty hammered strikes where you have a lot of detail uh, on areas like say the feather the hair and then where it goes into the braid right here um, you'll see a lot more of the facial structure on um, the Indian's face. Uh, such a pretty coin. So the Type 1 is what we would tr traditionally refer to as what type of mound the buffalo is standing on. In this case, it's a raised mound with, with no separating differentiator on the coin. Uh, this one, as you can see, has the mint mark right under 5 cents. This one's a D for Denver. All right. Pretty nice strike, even all the way up to the edge where you get the separating line between the rim of the coin and Black Diamond, which is the name of the buffalo modeled after this coin. All of the uh, the tufts of uh, hair on the top of the head right there. It, it's a pretty nice coin. Now again, uh, for 1913, they produced, a, prove me if I'm wrong, but they produced right around 30 million coins for the Philadelphia version, 5 million for Denver, and just over 2 million for the San Francisco example. All right, so that is a type 1. This is what a type 2 example highlights here. This is a 29D. Figure it in to be around an AU. Okay, 29 is um, always known for its 50-50 strike designation as far as um, how hammered it is. This one's a little weak as you can tell from the separator line of the Indian's hair and cheekbone. So on the type 2 reverses you could instantly see that Black Diamond, the buffalo, is on top of this mound but it's separated by that line. The um, 5 cents wording right there and the mint mark is more incused into the design of the coin. I think the big thing with the Type 1s back in the day when they were first released is that they wore down a lot quicker, much like what you would see on the Standing Liberty Quarter dates where they would just wear down pretty fast to the point that they're non-existent. Um, so on the Type 2, that's, that's your differentiator. It's just the Buffaloes on a straight mount and you have that line separator in there so it's not a raised mount all right pretty easy tutorial type one type two again type one is a one year only 1913 date um values are all over the place of course the type one material again there's so many of them out there in such great shape because it was the first year that these were released a lot of them were saved up, kind of pocketed away in really nice condition, and that's why um, that's why you you know you see a lot of the the nicer AUBU type material like this one for example, and they're very pretty affordable in terms of type coinage goes. Uh, so I hope for a lot of the uh, the new folks out there that are just getting the coin collecting, you know exactly what type one, type two is. Um, into Buffalo Nickels. Um, it'll help you search dateless rolls. There's plenty of them out there. And uh, the Type 1 raised mound 
version of the coin is pretty easy to find. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video for a lot of the new folks, a lot of the seasoned veterans. Um, yeah, it's just a, you know, kind of a, uh, a new thing that I'm doing. Uh, I have all these coins and I have many varieties of different types that we're going to talk about as we go into the new year and beyond. Uh, you guys have a wonderful new year and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.